Okay, you guys, so me recording my workout today turned out to be a fail for a couple of reasons. One, main, the main reason, I just don't exactly feel comfortable carrying a camera around with me and recording myself work out. I don't know. People give you weird looks and it's just... It kind of takes away from the workout itself. You're more focused on recording yourself than actually putting in the work. And also because today's workout kind of sucked. And so that's what I'm going to make this video about. The days that suck and how important they are. And what I mean by that is a true test of character and strength are in the days where you don't feel like going to the gym. Are in the days when you feel tired, when you just want to go home and go to sleep. There's so many other things that you could be doing. The days that you go anyway, despite the fact that you're exhausted and just not into it. Those are the days that count. On days when you're dead tired and you make the decision to drag yourself to the gym even though you don't want to be there, that's how you grow. Days that you just want to stuff your face with a bunch of junk food and sugar because you're stressed out and instead you make the decision to go out of your way to eat healthy. That's how you grow. Little things like that are the most important part of this entire process this entire journey is the battle of the mind the mind is such a powerful thing whether you realize it or not and it has the ability to either make or break you if you think you can't you won't because you've already had it set in your mind that you're gonna fail and that's what keeps people from succeeding in life what you think you become and if you think you can't then you won't because you won't push yourself to get to where you want to be in life if you want a successful career if you want to lose weight if you want to be successful in any aspect of life whatsoever if you have it set in your mind that it's too hard and it's out of your reach you will never get there unless you overcome that inner struggle within you every single day because this kind of journey is something that you have to fight every single day. There's always temptations, there's always reasons to not go to the gym, not get your workouts in, not be consistent. There's always outside forces that are going to try to stray you from the path. That's why the most important part of this whole process is a strong mind. And I know from experience that that's it's hard. I haven't always been strong minded and I am still have my moments where I'm not strong minded like tonight. I let my thoughts get the best of me and I had a crappy workout. I didn't get anything accomplished but the one thing I can say is that I forced myself to go and that in itself is an accomplishment that I can be proud of. And this journey has not been easy for me whatsoever coming from someone who spent most of their young life hating what they saw when they looked in the mirror to now becoming somebody that I can accept and somebody that's grown in so many ways. I share this advice because I've learned from my own mistakes. I have, when I started this journey I was 250 pounds, maybe even more, I don't know. And I got down to about 165. Then I went through some things. I gained 30 pounds back. I've been up and down ever since I have began this journey. But mentally I've grown in so many ways that I'm aware of who I am. And that's the most important thing. I'm confident in the person that I am and the person that I've become. Through all the things that I've learned over the last five years. And this is why I'm making this video because I want to share to somebody who may just be starting this journey that you're not alone in the fact that you feel like it's impossible. When I first started, I did not think it was possible for me. I just never imagined myself to be a girl who was ever going to be comfortable in her own skin. 
and that is very hard in a world where people put so much pressure on you to look a certain way but even though I have lost a lot of weight the most important thing to me out of this whole journey is how I've grown as a person and the lessons that it's taught me and how it's taught me to be accepting of myself and not doubt myself and the fact that once I put my mind to something I can do anything and I think that's a really important message for a lot of young girls out there too. I had an eating disorder in high school for a very long time that was something that I struggled with for years and I never actually told anyone that but it was because I had so much hate towards myself that I was just self-destructive and that was a really rough time but the fact that I've grown to be the person I am today I'm truly truly thankful and proud and I hope that I can touch somebody out there who is also struggling if you happen to watch this that would be nice hit the like and subscribe button for your girl uh, let me know if there's anything else you all would like me to touch on to talk about share my words of wisdom and yeah so that's it peace out